We're excited to announce version 9 and can't wait to get it in your hands. We've been working on version 9 for several years and in this video we'll be taking a first look at what it's all about. We had two goals with version 9. The first one is that we wanted to double down on the biggest strength of Palm Tech, which is the ease of use that it offers and the quality of the infield experience when you're actually out there in the field using the app on an inspection. We were able to accomplish this because it is faster than it's ever been to put together your reports in Palm Tech 9. It's faster than it was in previous versions of Palm Tech and it's faster than any other program out there. We rebuilt the app from the ground up with speed of entering data in mind and you'll see the difference right away. The second goal was to offer more functionality that many home inspectors want such as scheduling, managing clients and agents, as well as business reporting. This is all included in version 9 of Palm Tech in the all new online portal which we'll take a look at here in a little bit. These features are the starting point for the portal and there is much more to come as we move forward. With Palm Tech, we want to make sure we give you the tools you need to effectively run your business, quickly and painlessly create inspection reports, and have the flexibility to do it the way you want. Version 9 is close to release, but there's still more work to be done. During the rest of this video, we'll be taking a look at version 9, but since it's not ready to release quite yet, there will be some parts that may look different now than they do when it's actually released. I'll do my best to point out the spots where that's most likely as we're going through. With all that said, let's go ahead and take a look at the brand new online portal. Right here is a look at the new online portal. You can access this through the website, through the app, or through the program on your PC. There's just a button you'll be able to press that'll take you right here. Once you're logged in, you'll see this initial screen, which basically serves as a dashboard. It's going to have key information about what's happening now, what's upcoming, and some business metrics. This is still an area that we're working on, so what we're looking at here may change before the official release, but even if it doesn't change by that point, I would anticipate seeing some updates and improvements throughout this upcoming year. So right now what's on there is you'll be able to see any appointments, any inspections you have scheduled for today, as well as some basic metrics as far as how many inspections you've completed this week, this month, year to date, and just all time. And you'll also be able to see some of the revenue information for those periods. Right here we see average revenue per inspection, you know, all time, year to date, and you'll also be able to just see any accounts receivable. So an inspection you've done but not received payment for. That's a look at the dashboard as it stands right now. If we go to the top, we see we have four main sections of the portal. We have inspections, scheduling, reports, and manage. Let's go ahead and take a look at each of these sections to see what they're all about. So first off, we'll go to inspections. On the inspections tab, we see a listing of all the inspections that are on our cloud drive. From this screen, we're able to view inspections, we're able to download the reports, email them, or just delete any that we don't want to store any longer. And you'll be able, to be able to see some of the basic information such as the file name, the size, and the last time that it was worked on. Next, we have scheduling. On the scheduling tab, we're able to add appointments, make changes to existing appointments, and see our upcoming schedule. We can view it from a, a daily, a weekly or a monthly standpoint and right now we're looking at the monthly view. You can add an appointment just by clicking on whatever day you want to add the appointment to. So if I wanted to add it for today for example I could just hit the plus sign on the 14th or you can simply tap on add new. So let's go ahead and add a new appointment for later today. So we'll tap on add new. When we're adding in a new appointment, the first thing we have to select is the inspector. And so if you're a multi-inspector firm, you have a drop down here of all your inspectors. If you're the only inspector, then it's going to have your name selected by default. We need to pick the time. And so for this, we'll go ahead and we're going to say it's for today. And we'll say it's at 1.30. Now we'll enter our client name. And we'll just say that this is for a client named Mark Thomas. We'll go ahead and put in his address. We'll say it's 18 Redwood Road in Colerain, Ohio. And we'll plug in the zip. Add in their kind of the basic information. So we'll just add in their email address and we'll add in a phone number as well. 
Once that's all tapped in, I can tap on Add Client, and now the client's locked in. For the refer, I can add in a brand new one. So if this is an agent or you know somebody's referred this who I've not worked with before, I can type it in. Uh, but it also keeps track. Um, it has a database of all the agents and referrers you've worked in with in the past. And so let's say that uh, Mark actually came from um, uh, an agent that we work with quite a bit, John. And so I'll just start to type in, and it'll actually kind of pop up anybody who kind of meets what we've typed in. So John Rineker, this is one we've worked with in the past. So I'll just hit select then it automatically populates all his information. And so now we just need to put in the address for the actual inspection. And so we'll go ahead and plug that in. We'll just say it's on State Line Road, say Harrison, Ohio. For our services, and this is something you set up, um, we'll say it's just a standard home inspection. And when you select it, it automatically populates it with how long that typically takes and then the amount you charge. And again, this is all editable in other parts of the portal. I can put in any any sort of notes I wanted to. They have a large dog. We'll be in the you know be <laughs> we'll be kept in the garage or whatever that looks like. But once it's set up, we'll go ahead and tap on Add Appointment. And now here, we'll see we have the appointment. If we look over here on the left, we'll see under Upcoming Events, we we have our appointments. We'll see the one we just added. And on all the days with the appointments, we see we have these little yellow boxes. So that's how you add an appointment to the schedule. Next, we have the Reports section. Here, we'll be able to see the reports about our business, including information about our clients, um, refers, accounts receivable, and income-based reports. As of the recording of this video, we're still working on this section, so we'll cover this in more detail at a later date in another video. But for now, the big thing to, to know is this is just going to be a spot where we can get some important metrics about what's going on with our business. And then finally, we have the Manage tab. So let's go ahead and click on this. In this section, we can do quite a bit, including we can update our or manage our account settings. We can see the files that are on our cloud drive and delete stuff, download stuff, really make whatever changes we need to. We can modify um, our, our PDF settings. So we can actually make changes to the way our reports look when we create them right from here. We can also make changes to email templates. And we'll go ahead and just quickly dive into this section to see what this is all about. So if we click on this, right now we have three different email templates in place. If you're, you know, if you're when you're sending out the report, you can modify the template that kind of goes into the body of that email where the report is attached. You can also modify the appointment confirmation. So we set up an appointment, a confirmation automatically gets sent out, and you can modify the text for that. If we click on email inspection, you'll see that we have a pretty in-depth editor here where we can make the you know the common changes like the font size, add bulleted lists, you can add in pictures. Um, change the colors, the fonts, you can even use merge fields like we have here, you know, hello client name, so it'll pull the client name directly from that inspection or the appointment that you set up. It's just a way to save you time. And if you're a little bit more comfortable with editing this type of stuff, there's also an HTML editor here as well. If you wanted to come in here and just do, do a little bit more customizations to it. Uh, but there's a lot you can do here. You make your changes and you just simply hit save and then you have this custom email kind of template set up and ready to go anytime you send out a report. If we go back to manage, we'll take a look at what's left. So we have clients, refers, and services. And I mentioned earlier when we took when we set up that appointment, you can actually set up what services you offer, how much you charge for those services, and the, the amount of time they take, and that's all done here. And then for like the clients and refers, if we click on one, so we'll click on clients for example, we will actually be able to see a list of all the clients we've done inspections for. We'll be able to see all their contact information. So you can see the client, the phone, their email address, address, city, state, and zip. So that's all available. I can go in there and make edits to those if I needed to. I can delete out ones if I, if I didn't need to. And you can take this information and you can download it, right? So you can just copy all of it. You could um, download it, kind of export it to an Excel document. You could you know, turn it into a PDF or you could print it. So that way if you wanted to do something with this or you wanted to get this somewhere else, you can, you can now do that. And so you have this for your clients and agents actually work the same way as well. So if we go back to manage, um, we'll be go here to first. And when it pulls it up, we'll see a list of all the um, referrers that we've worked with.
So that's a quick look at the new online portal. There's a lot of new functionality here that we're really excited about and we can't wait to get it into your hands. Again, as we move forward, we're gonna release new videos and more information about what version nine is all about. And so we'll cover this in more detail in a future video. Now though, let's take a quick look at the PC version of Palm Tech version nine. So we can go ahead and minimize this and we'll go ahead and open up the icon. Our focus with the, the PC version was making things faster in a few spots, but really the big thing was making sure it just works seamlessly with the new portal. So when we open it, we see it looks a little bit different than it has in the past. You know, if I wanted to get to the portal, I could just click this button here and it takes me right to the portal, which is where we just were. But I now see right at the top a listing of my upcoming appointments. And so we actually see the one we just set up for Mark Thomas. So let's go ahead and select that and we'll go to start new. When we've selected it, now we need to choose what template we want to use for that inspection. And we'll just use our house template, kind of our standard one. It opens it right up. Now we need to give the file a name and we'll just call this, let's we'll call it sample. We'll click on save. But one of the cool things is, is kind of the way it integrates with the portal now. If I go to general information, it's gonna have all that information from the appointments gonna be pre-filled. And so I can see you know, the property address, my client information, refer information, the date and time. I can come over here to edit. If I needed to make a change to the information for the client or for the refer, I could. Otherwise, you can just close that. It just makes it a little bit easier on screen. Another change you'll see with version 9 um, on the PC is at the bottom of each section, we just have a button that allows you to just kind of jump to the next category. It's not a huge change, but if you think about it, when you're working on an inspection and you're filling it out, having to move your mouse over here it just again it just takes time so i can actually just tap on this and just keep working my way through overall the pc version works very similar to the way it did in version 8 as most of the changes in version 9 were with the new portal and the new mobile app which we're going to take a look at now now let's take a look at the new app as i mentioned earlier version 9 has a brand new app that was built from the ground up the new app has an updated look and feel and new functionality but it still works the same as it has in the past, which means if you're already using Palm Tech, the learning curve will be minimal. So let's go ahead, tap on the new icon to open it up. On this first screen, we have the, the same type of stuff we could do before, right? So we can start a new inspection. We can open a previous inspection. At the bottom, we now have the new option to go directly into the portal. But for this video, we're gonna go ahead and tap on start new inspection. Here, we pick what template we want to use, and so we'll just select our house template. And what we can do is we can select an appointment that we've already set up, or we can continue with no appointment. Let's say we wanted to select one of our appointments, so we'll go ahead and select the one for Bernard. When we do this, it selects it, and it opens it up, and we need to give the file a name, and I'll just call this test, and then tap on continue. Navigation within the app has been updated with the new navigation bar that includes four icons. And so we see those icons here at the bottom. And the first one is the inspection information tab. And that's what we're on now. And this has the basic information about the client, the referral, and just the inspection in general. And as you can see, this has all been pre-populated from the appointment we set up. Next, if we go to the next tab, we have kind of the inspection details. So this is where we actually dive in and start doing the inspection. And this is the part that's gonna look and feel just like it has in the past with some new updates, which I'll show you here in a minute. After that, we have an all new review tab. And so here we have the same review options we had before. They just, they're all in one spot and it's cleaner and easier to look at. So we can see everything that's incomplete. Um, at the top, we'll be able to see anything that's been marked as an issue, you know, anything going to the summary here in the middle, and then we'll see all of our pictures down here at the bottom. And then the last new tab is the finalize tab. And so here we can actually now email this inspection directly to our client, or we can upload it to the cloud if we wanted to move it to another device first. So if we were to finish our inspection in the field, you know, we would fill it out here. We would then come here to review it ourselves and potentially with our client, and then when we are done, we simply put in our, select our client's email address and then send it off. So it just makes it easier to just work your way through the inspection with the new app. 
So that's kind of the general navigation and the changes to that. But I want to jump back to the inspection details because this is one of the areas that I'm, we're really, really excited about because this is how we're going to save you some time. So let's say we wanted to fill out some information in the lots and grounds section. So we'll tap on this here. As it's been in the past, we have the same four columns. So we have our ratings, you know, what we're inspecting. We have a spot for um, like the description of the material. Then we have a spot for notes, but then we have a new icon at the end. And this new icon, if we tap on it, gives us the ability to make changes to the line. So we can rename it, we can delete it, we can do kind of copy paste. So it's just real easy to make edits to it. After that, we have a spot where we can you know, jump directly to the line to make edits to it. If we wanted to do that, we have a spot where we can take, take a picture or we can add a picture from our camera roll. So that's what that new icon is. But perhaps the, the biggest time saving change is I can just tap directly on an entry. So if I wanted to you know, work on a driveway line, I can just tap right on the rating and it pulls up here and then I select the one that's relevant. So we'll say the driveway is acceptable. We'll come here, we'll say it's made out of concrete. Driveway's done. Now we'll come here to walks. We'll say walks is acceptable. We'll come here, we'll say made out of concrete. Walks is done. Steps and stoops, we'll say there's an issue. So we'll mark it marginal. We'll say concrete. We'll come over here to our note. We'll say the concrete's pitted and chipped. And now if I wanted to add a picture, I pull up those icons like I did before. I can go ahead and tap on my camera icon. This pulls up my camera. I can snap a picture. Go ahead and tap on use photo. As soon as I take a picture, if I wanted to take another picture, I could just tap on take additional picture or I can tap on finished and I've finished that line, added a picture and I'm ready to move on to the next line. Porch is acceptable. Concrete, we'll say it doesn't have a patio. We'll mark it not applicable. Deck is acceptable. Stained wood. Balcony is not applicable. Grading is acceptable. And just like that, you're able to quickly and easily work your way through the inspection. This is going to be a huge time saver for anybody who's currently using Palm Tech or anybody who's looking to switch from another system. The ability to enter all the information from this one screen cuts out a lot of the back and forth or a lot of the navigating that you've had to do in the past. We are so excited to get this in your hands and see how much time it's going to help you save. So that's a quick look at what's new in the app. Um, at some point, we'll do a more in-depth look at everything that's new in the app. But just here in a couple minutes, we were able to hit the highlights. And I'm, I'm hoping you're walking away pretty excited uh, being able to see that, yeah, this is going to be faster and this is going to be easier than what I'm doing now. And that actually wraps up the, the, this video, kind of the overview of what's new. Uh, the bottom line is, is Palm Tech version 9 is going to save you time in the field. If you put this app side by side with version 8 of Palm Tech or any other app out there, you're going to find that getting information into your report is fastest with version 9 of Palm Tech. The new portal brings with it a ton of new features that will make running and managing your business easier and you're going to love how seamless it works with the app and the PC version. More information and more detailed videos will be available as we move forward. If you have questions about what's new, you can give us a call or just send us an email and let us know how we can help. Thanks for watching.